versus EGL final series of day two of the group stage for the International 2019. Giving us a huge advantage down here. He's going to find out Arcane Run on the way. This could be leading into our first blood. They will not be expecting this Magnus rotation, I do believe. Oh, S4 is kind of just already Yeah, he's already kind of so dying. low. They want to go for, for crit probably, but uh, the easier one is just to skewer through the tree line and take out S4. Virus Strike will happen, but he doesn't get to the other side, the Magnus. And first blood is actually going to be S4. Fade skewers away from crit, away from the Bramble. And on the other sides as S4, Virus Strikes forward, finding DY or down the tree lines, crit. Throws out his own attack. Oh, four HP on DY. Caustic. Caustic. <laughs> Man, they're trying to actually contest with his runes. <laughs> Crit. We'll get rid of the Sentry Ward nice and quickly, but it's uh, five seconds until the bounty's going to spawn. The Observer Ward saw some elk come very early on, so they know just how much is here. But thanks to the X Mark Torrent Ship, the combination hits so hard in towards Crit. The Barrow Strike from S4 gets a chain onto, onto the Troll Warlord. But where's your big damage? It's got to come in from Fly. He's got plus 60. Trying to pump it into Paparazzi with Whirling Axes. There's not much more to give. Dark Willow still the first one and only one to die during this fight. And DY with a double stun keeps the rest of EG off VG's back. But underneath the tower, they realize he's alone. And they will die for it, but DY, he'll just TP out the adaptive strike from RTZ, will reach him in time. But the follow up's done, nothing DY can do. Where the Earth Spike would have connected, I think he's dead actually. They smoked up, but I don't know if that was in range, if that was visible. And here they come, Epicenter, S4, looking to put the Virus Strike Pound right in top of Ori with the Spirit and the Stomp. What's RTZ got? Samal's got the stun in with the ET stun. And he actually hit everything into Ori, and they're going to bring down the Raid Boss. Actually want to start running his Spirit around and doing some scouting, but he's hiding inside this Invis rune. VG Gaming will smoke outside. And EG are not holding that high ground position anywhere near the Shrine. But X Mark, Torrent, have they got somebody? They've got Samal. He's still got one charges. It's a good ET stomp catching up for an S4. Gets the Barra Strike out with two with the ET splitter as well. Ogre's having a hard time running away. Yang's got a lot of life, but now RTZ comes in, but he gets hit by the Spirit Vessel. And Bashed up's done. Morphling can't go anywhere. So quickly, RTZ will die. But the buyback comes in from Chris. They need to catch Paparazzi. Now the BKB is gone. S4 Barra Strike himself forward, but thanks to the great Bramble positioning from Crit, the double stuns are available. Paparazzi will go down some out with a triple kill. And Ori, the, uh, well, the Curse Crown is still going to connect. Fly wants to punch him down, but he's going to get hexed up. Vicious can only slap. But Crit, he can hit a little bit harder, but even that Shadow Realm, not enough to connect it to Conquer. DY runs up the hill, and the follow up Barra Strike. Great chaining abilities from Evil Geniuses, chasing VG Gaming to their side of the river. When did that um, happen? And, and why has he actually got Arcane Boots sitting in the backpack? Why, why does he have... Okay, hang on, let's watch the fight first. Yeah, yeah, let's let's just move forward. Uh, well, SK in a little bit of trouble with those stolen boots. He's uh, trying to rock, run himself away. S4, the follow-up suns will be there. He has buyback available. Samel's already burned through his BKB. But the same can be said for the rest of VG Gaming. The ship will be able to connect a little bit further north while Ogre dies in the lane. Teams have scan available. But they're trying to get around the back of Evil Geniuses. And there's the Radiant scan. They're looking towards Roshan. Where does the Dire scan? Do they feel it? They're looking further to the north. Yeah, they, they know something's not right. And Fly walks in, breaks the smoke already over on Ori. Has he got anything to cast? Oh, He's just going to die! Instantly dead on crit. Paparazzi, the damage output from Morphling! He's just throwing out so much. The RP will connect onto Samael. DY, he's got the follow-up chain. As you know, he's just waiting it out. Samael will now BKB and look to walk away while the hit hits on, on Yang. He couldn't get away from the Curse Crown while S4 will bar a strike over towards Ori. They still want to get the course. Yang's doing his own run out here. Finally, he will go down to Fly, who actually bought back to get this one. But it's a triple kill for Arteezy. He's the bigger man, but S4, he may get the biggest one of all. Paparazzi up in the air. Still has BKB available. Will actually dodge the Barra Strike from Arteezy and walk it all off. All this began because of Roshan, but with so many heroes dead from VG, it looks like EG feel like they can just go in for Roshan. And VG can use the entire fight trying to Five-man smoke up, wrap around. Evil Samel Geniuses. wants to get caught. No one's got scan, and yes, Samel is definitely baiting. The Crete Wave gets pulled off to the side, so VG no. And so does EG. He's, he's literally waiting on the hill. Blink, Skewer, can actually kill off the try and be quick about this one. If possible, the Terrorize comes okay. in for the BKB protective. Samal will go down, he does not have flyback available, and now your RP connects. Barra Strike will come through, but then the Magnus, he does fall down. Does RTZ just have enough while everyone sits there stunned by Fly? He created so much more space, but the Torrent, it sends at least SK up into the air. So Ari will be able to finish him off, but RTZ is not done just yet. Back into the Dark Willow, so we can turn around and get the E-Blade pop into DY. They're taking away as much of his mana as possible. 
Paparazzi and Flyer having their own little battle to the northern side of the lane. But the Blink Bar is strike forward. It's Ori stunned up still. Arteezy doesn't have a lot of man to work with. Goes for another stun, but now Ori still on the run back out, man. Paparazzi, he can't do much, especially when Crit just had the Bedlam sitting right on top of them. The Curse Crown, they know it's going to connect on Paparazzi. That's why the Bybest coming in from VG Gaming. They need more damage, but S4, huge damage from the side. He'll end up falling just as quickly, but Fly, has he got enough too? Paparazzi, he just stands his ground, does the damage, and now it's VG Gaming with the numbers. Arteezy, the Immortal, will crack, and maybe he's got enough life. Change around to hurt many people you want to, but can he actually oh survive? God, he He's kill. buying time, oh. but it won't be enough. Yikes, if he would have got the kill too. Yeah. And Roshan has stopped thanks to the buyback from Morphling. So, Arteezy, it's he had no other choice. Yang, man, that's real close, Yang. <laughs> but he's... DD troll. <laughs> they have 15 seconds. They got to go in for Roshan. Fly, he's got Spirit up right now, so he can send it in. This dies fast. It'll that's go over fast. Yang and Roshan, down at 4.4k HP. They're moving in, Zemail. There's your stomp, Paparazzi moves out, comes back in again, battling Roshan just on the edge. Here comes your Terrorize, he won't be pushed back out. Paparazzi, BKB, grabs the Aegis Mortal, and they may grab a little bit more Samael. He can't die, the BKB comes up, but damn that damage! Ori, how do you survive this? You get E-Bladed Pop, but there's still enough magical damage. No, he'll BKB, but this will open him up to, to the physical attack as well. Back up the hill, Morphling, waveforms in, Arteezy, he's brought down Ori for a full two minutes. It's a great double bar strike, however, that'll buy more space. You've lost the SK. Have they got more? Fly, he's low on life too. Hexed up in the back line. Samael, he can still tank through a hell of a lot. DY's just training Fly dry. And maybe they have enough through Paparazzi. He's doing the range attack, but hasn't done enough. They've got a better target. It's Samael, but the Curse Crown, it buys just enough space. Yang and Paparazzi stunned for the moment, while Arteezy will waveform himself out to safety. The buyback comes in from the Magnus, and EG are in full retreat. No regeneration from that. Paparazzi walking under the Ops and Sentry with the Blink Fire Strike into the back lines. S4 will get stunned very quickly with the Finger of Death. They'll find him in Arteezy. Wants his own target, but he didn't kill off DY. It wasn't enough damage. He BKB, turns back over, puts down the Bedlam, and they just keep going ham over on Paparazzi. Yang trapped inside the Bramble. Samael, the Torrent, as well as the ship. It's all going to connect over on him. He's holding that BKB back, but S4 with a double barrel strike. Paparazzi and Yang, they just can't attack. You will get the Whirling Axe, making it a little bit more difficult for Arteezy, but the RP is buying more and more time. They're holding EG in position. Yang wants to walk away. Arteezy will finally finish him up, battling from the left-hand side of this fight, but Samael is still the big prize. They're trying to bring down the Knight. He's the Knight. You can't do that. Or maybe you can if there's enough of a follow-up and a multicast. Nope. Samal will still keep walking. Turns for his own son. Over on Yang. Actually gets stunned up by it as well. Pulled back in. Samal, he's finally going to go down. He'll have buyback available. The epithet doesn't work, so Yang will also fall. Where is the extra follow-up? It's over towards flight. D-White gets his own stun in. Paparazzi swings the axes. Needs to hit onto Elder Titan. Ghost Set will protect him for the moment. The Shockwave unable to connect, but the X Mark Spot and Torrent bringing back the Elder Titan. Everyone will begin their reset once more. And Roshan is up. He has Refresher Shard available. And just in case, Fly's buying back. They just, they're buying time for RP. 30 more seconds is the call here. Keep buying time. They're coming in. Caught. They're Ori. coming in. Samal's going to be the first one. Ori's just used the X-Mark spot to look around behind him. They want to get the Blink Barrow. They've got it as well. Over on Ori. Can they actually get him before the BKB can come up? The sleep just lasts forever. And he's feared. Oh, it he won't matter. Back. He's My down. BKB. Buyback is available. He did burn the BKB. Still has cheese available for the next fight, but Arteezy now stands on Roshan. They get the buyback out from the Kunker, and here comes Fade. RP in three, two, one, and Blink stun! He's under the Observer Sentry! They'll get the follow-up Barrow Strike and instantly nuke down the Magnus. Another buyback has to be expended by VG. They're waiting for the jump time. DY's got Blink Dagger oh, ready to go. Stop. He's looking to come through. He'll actually hit into Roshan, triggering off the block. And that is Aegis Cheese and Refresher Shard all being picked up. I'm going to tell you right now, I've got those top four in my fantasy team. <laughs> I'm not biased at all. No. Uh, Yang, jump in, gets oh. a good stun with a finger of death, Arteezy! Almost has the Aegis Seymour to break, he's so low, but then he just switches back into his normal self, and with the Terrorize, maybe they got enough control, the RP! He'll connect from Faith, the follow-up is there, Paparazzi cleaving through them, he's got a damage, he's almost killed Arteezy, but it's still not enough, he's walking away with one HP, and turns around to hit back into Yang, Kunker is already down, Yang's BKB will wear off in just a second, and DY draining out S4, he was in way too deep, but he got a triple barrel strike, and now here comes EG, with the E-Blade 
they pop, they'll get through DY. But remember, the Rax needs to die. This is the first Rax. It's taken 61 minutes to bring it down. Arteezy back to the world of living. Thanks to the Aegis of the Immortal. And Samael, he wants to jump in for a little bit deeper. Another stun. The Bramble's making it difficult, but Paparazzi will play this game from range. But with a double bar strike, once again, S4 hitting the perfect stuns. Three euros down with our buyback. Finally, VG Gaming will call the GG for EG to take game one. Well, there's going to be Dusa instead, so counter push, sustain. Okay, so Medusa has been a, a stable for VG Gaming for a long time. And then S4 gets a one-on-one -on -one lane against Yang. Oh, bottom lane, my god. Well, there's your first blood. Tuscar was meant to ensure it for VG Gaming, and now he'll actually be it. So, it, this is a tricky situation for VG Gaming. Fate's probably dead. Rolling Boulder gets the perfect hit. Ooh, Snowball just in time, but it'll only delay it, maybe with the shards. And the, <laughs> okay, Hadouken available. I wonder how Vici are going to get out of this. It's a bit of a... Samal's going for his own target. Paparazzi! Okay. He walked down for the regen rune, and Samal just yules him up, and... Oh, split us him. And EG then turned their attention towards bottom lane. And that's why VG Gaming, they know they need to defend this. Ari's there. Mystic Snake actually does a hell of a lot of damage towards Fly, but Artiz doesn't care. He rolls in with the help of Crit. Arteezy stands his ground, the Stone Gaze will come off, and what happens with the Stampede forward? You do at least get the Rock off, plus combining with the Fatal Bonds, a lot of damage into Arteezy. Chris trying to walk it off, that's why he kicks back Yang before the Hoof Stomp's able to connect over on him, and another Rolling Boulder in from Crit. He's just always there, but they still haven't killed off the primary target they came for. Ori's moving up, and S4 thought he could get it, he can borrow a strike away to save you. Samal gets a double, and a Crit, he did again with a huge kick. S4's gonna combine with the Evans and the Paparazzi and Yang, they're both gonna go down here. Yang's got no way to survive. A triple kill for Samael. Ori will retreat, and VG, they really wanted to hold that tower, but they won't. Team. And until you have like a centaur and stomp where you can get the upper hand early on, like that's the only so way. But EG just want to keep fighting, and here we go again. Blink Fire Strike forward, the snowball, and it goes over, but it's Samael who's already TPing himself in. And that's gonna be one very dead Ori, and then even to the back lines, S4 once more. Blink Dagger's coming off cooldown in three, two, one. Does he want to go some way? He wants to find Yang. Moving the wrong way, and oh boy. Yang totally isolated from the rest of his team. The chain stuns from EG are absolutely perfect. Paparazzi waiting in the tree line, but the bait wasn't taken. Instead, the shards trying to block in Samael, able to do so, but he Yule Scepter, he dodges the snowball in, and have they got enough? The rock will drop, Fatal Bonds need to connect as well. Paparazzi in the back lines, S4 and RT trying to control him, but man, they actually have enough damage to get through Samael. DY is the one to claim it. They were spilling out so much damage with the rock and Fatal Bonds. And all they lost for it was their tusk. But they're gonna lose the tier two tower on top lane as well, I think. Yeah, that top is doomed. Yeah, because the kick will come in. Tuscar oh. wants to try and help out. Ori just left stranded fade. He has to snowball. I don't know. The stampede will get him away to safety. Crit rolling boulders in and he finds fade. He has to snowball right now. Buy some time, but he just turns around. The snowball was so short. The Fatal Bonds was also connecting them up. TP comes in once more. Samel okay, back to the That's front lines. And yeah, you're in a little deep there, man. Paparazzi will take crit streak. Soon there's going to be a Centaur Dagger too. That will make it even worse. Yeah. But for so. now, EG wants to keep the aggression up. They will smoke a move through the south. It's Ben Warlock. He's going to be the one there. Rock's available. Rolling Boulder is going to come in. Nicely dodged. The silence was still out. So DY won't be able to get any abilities off. Oh, will he? He gets the Fetal Bonds and the Rock off with Ori getting the split shot damage. EG, the bit of more than they choose. Samael will be able to BT in, but now he's stranded underneath VG Gaming. Ori will stand his ground too. He still wants to get the kill with the help of S4. He's able to get the double out, but Yang, he's got 22 HP. He wants to walk this off. Samael has to turn around to actually get back into this fight and help Arteezy get the triple kill. That's probably the best fight the BG Gaming could ask for, but it looks like EG have just enough in the tank and fade. He doesn't know what to really do here. He's looking at this, but Arteezy's already got himself an ultra kill. TP home, that's what you can do. They, the, the sentry ward got killed off, so they know where DY is. They put down their own Dire Observer, so he doesn't want to kill that sentry. They're smoked up, the movement in, Yule Scepter over on the Dusa, the follow-up, the stun. Oh, couldn't be dodged with Amanda Style. But the shields, they tank as much as they can. The rock is good. DY slows them up. And now Ori, he can do a lot of work if he can just keep attacking. They flip him up. Life Stealer does go down. Samael take it through as much as he can. But now he's the last sole survivor of EG in the middle of this fight. Yang's looking for more. As the Chen, he blinks forward, gets it done over on fly. And Yang will pick himself up a double kill and EG lose three heroes. Like, what's our next items? What's our next timing? Because obviously the first, the first phase has failed. 
I wouldn't say it's failed. I mean, there's still 14k up. They've done a really good job. Now they come. As Volvara strikes in, look at DY's position. He's ready for the rock drop. He just needs the right timing for it. Ari's tanking through a lot of it. Now the rock drop does come down with the Fatal Bonds connected, but Fade's already dead. He'll have to buy back the damage in. They're getting it off, but here comes Paparazzi in for the stun. He wants to focus down Artesian with the upheaval. It's making it difficult for EG to continue to move, especially as Ari has backed up some mail. He will end up falling. Chris trying to do something about it in the back lines. Turns on the Magnetize, gets a follow up kick, but how much has he really got left to give? You've got the flip tossed out, and now crit focused down by Paparazzi. All the damage he needs with the Gold Strength, he gets it. And with a full stop, Ari continues to be kiting them out. S4 will bar a strike in. He doesn't really be that effective. In fact, it's done the opposite way around. Artizi slow on life. He'll try and hit your right inside of S4 to get the hell out of here. Bar a strike in one second, but the mana, it got taken away by the Mystic Snake. They have to pop out. They have to fight. At least he'll be able to get one die back over on the Tusker. Or maybe he can get oh, more. A double kill for Artizi. A triple kill for Artizi. He's just turned this crap up. Ultra kill, given the rampage, the bash! It is RTZ Rampage is solo BG Gaming! <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want it? Oh my god. That's actually unbelievable. Man, I thought BG were having this, but in the greatest words, let's see that again. They were, look at this, they are literally two seconds away from cleaning house. If Tusk has ulti, RTZ is dead right here. Instead, one to the next, next hero, Medusa. He's, he's just life draining back too much and has way too much armor. And then the Basher as well for this. So he even gets the full on rampage. Got caught in five seconds time, but they have to do something or else EG will continue to take racks after racks. The four stuff Yang, he's got no mana left. He actually has to go back to base to regen the mana, Arteezy with a backup from Evil Jesus in fact, look where Paparazzi is. He's at the back lines. The Rolling Boulder will come in. There's a lot of damage. The Rock will drop, and Paparazzi! The cleave damage! Three euros again. The Fly will finally get the heal off, and the Abyssal Blaze done. Artizi gets a little bit more. Remember, he's got the Aegis Mortal. They don't want, don't want to find him off. They get the two support kills instead. A four star gets fade a little bit further out in the upheaval from DY. EG, the need to run it down. Artizi knows it. They flick him up, and maybe under the tier four towers, they've got some way to defend this, but without Ori, I don't know if it's going to be possible. Sentry Wars Town, CS4 at least, but watch also see your racks go down. Yeah, they're just going to keep going. They, If they can't force this... GG! Yeah. Yep. They call it EG will 2-0 VG Gaming. And VG, and today got a hell of a lot rougher for them. But these games, EG pushed them to the limit in both of them in the series.